Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I want to briefly outline how you can make all the automated test cases you've created for your robotic process automation ready for continuous testing. Now to do that let me start where I've stopped in my previous video. And in my previous video, I've shown how you can design automated test cases here in studio, not only for your main automated business process, but I've also shown you how we typically modularize our automated business process and how you can create test cases for all these process components. So for example, here I have all the test cases I've created so far to evaluate the quality of one of these process components called calculate loan rate. Now, to make a test case ready for continuous testing, all you need to do is you need to decide which of these test cases you want to now publish to Orchestrator. To do that, just right click on a test case over here, then you have here the option ignore from publish, which then sets the blue icon into a gray one, or you can undo this option to say, well, you want to publish this test case. Now, once you decided which of those test cases are now ready for, for example, remote execution, all you need to do, go to the ribbon and say, publish my test cases. Then what you need to do here is you need to decide on the name of the resulting NuGet package. You can also set the version over here and then you just click on publish. What we then do is we pack all the automated test cases of your project into a NuGet package and publish it to Orchestrator. So now let me show you what you can do with this package in Orchestrator. To do that, let me go to Orchestrator. So here I decided to publish all my packages to the tenant level feed on Orchestrator. So that means in my case, I find all the packages I have on my tenant level feed. And uh, here is just uh, the package we just uploaded here a second ago. So let me refresh that. Here you go. We just uploaded here this package 34 seconds ago. So let me now show you what you can do with this package. Well, for this, I want to go here to this folder called the UI Bank Loan Approval Process, which is a folder dedicated to my automated business process, which without big surprise is all about the UI Bank Loan Approval Process. And here in the testing section in this folder, you have the ability to find so-called test sets. And here I already defined one for the regression test set for the loan approval process. Well, how do you create such a test set? Well, it's very easy. Let me show you that. Click here on edit. All you need to do, give it a name, give it a description, select the account. Don't forget to also enable the activity coverage calculation option over here so that we can also display the activity coverage, not only in studio at design time, but also here on orchestrator as well as in test manager at execution time. Next, select the package you just published here to Orchestrator. That's the one I just published. Click on Next, and then you can decide also, well, which of these test cases as part of your package do you want to now include in your test set? Now, that's my regression test set, so I include all of my automated test cases. For a smoke test portfolio, I probably would only go for a subset of these test cases over here. Now, once you decided that, just click on Save, and you're done. The test set is then ready for execution. And here you can execute your test sets in three ways. The first option is to say, well, you want to execute it manually. Just click on the play button over here, confirm your selection, and then all your automated test cases are being executed. Now, in this case, I'm making use of our awesome cloud robots for especially yeah, cloud-based distributed execution in order to distribute all my automated test cases across several machines in the cloud to speed up my test execution. So as you can see, all these uh, 12 test cases executed just in a few seconds, and we immediately see which of them passed and which of them failed. Now, for example, this one failed. We can also dive a little bit deeper and say, well, why did it fail? So click here on view assertions, and then we highlight here why it failed. For example, it says the verification failed, because the expected loan rate with a value of three was not equal to the actual loan rate with a value of six. Now that's a background automation. That means that that's an API test case. In case you're running an automated test case on the UI, we would also display here a screenshot related to this error message. So let me close that and let me go back to my test sets. So the first option you have to execute your test set is to do it manually with this play button over here. The second option is to define so-called test schedules. 
And here again, I already created a test schedule for my regression test set for the loan approval process. And as the row here already suggests, I'm executing this test set on a daily basis at 4 a.m. How do you do that? Well, all you need to do, click here on edit, give it a name, select the test set as part of your test schedule, and then you have all the options over here to define when exactly you want to execute your test set. In that case, I'm doing this on a daily basis every day at 4 a.m. So that's the second option. And the third option, I think that's the most preferred option, is to integrate the execution of your test set into your CI CD pipeline. Now, how do you do that? Well, for this purpose, we provide a variety of plugins. For example, we provide a plugin to build or CI CD tools such as Azure DevOps over here. Now, where do you find those plugins? Well, the plugin for Azure DevOps, as highlighted here, you can find on the Visual Studio Marketplace. We also have another one here for Jenkins, in case you want to use Jenkins. Where do you find this plugin? Well, you find it on the Marketplace for Jenkins. And in case you use your own custom build tools or you have customized your build pipeline or you might use also other tools such as GitLab, we also provide our UiPath CLI. So let me show you that quickly. So that's just the documentation of it, which enables you then to integrate all your automated test cases as part of your custom build pipeline. And uh, this CLI, this command line interface, doesn't just allow you to run test sets in Orchestrator, it also allows you to package Studio projects into NuGet package and deploy those packages to Orchestrator. So it's pretty powerful. So now let me quickly go back to Orchestrator and going back here to the test sets. Now let me show you how you can integrate this test set in your CI CD pipeline when you're using Jenkins. To do that, let me go to my Jenkins server over here. And here you can see I already defined a couple of jobs, not only for my applications, but also for all the automated business processes. And the one we are interested in today is the loan approval process. So let me show you how that job here on Jenkins is being configured. Just click here on configure. Then we go to the configuration page here of that job in uh, Jenkins. And when you then have installed the plugin for Jenkins, in the same way you install any other plugin here in Jenkins, then you have the option for several post build actions. So for example, here I'm using the one called UiPath Run Tests. What I can define here is, well, I wanna execute a certain test set. You just specify here the name of the test set. You specify where to find this test set on Orchestrator, provide the credentials to your Orchestrator, and then just save it. And then this uh, job here on Jenkins, let me go back again, is then ready to be executed as part of your build pipeline. Of course, you can also trigger the execution of this uh, job here in Jenkins. So let's do that. I'll just uh, trigger here the build. So as you can see here in the build executor status, the build is being triggered. It's currently running. We can also see the details of uh, this job. It also provides you a console output. And in the meantime, if we go back to Orchestrator, to our test executions, we've seen, okay, it was just executed this test set 10 seconds ago by an external tool, which was Jenkins. We can then dive deeper into the details, expand in a little bit. Then we can see one, two, three test cases actually failed. Now we also have this information ready in Jenkins. So when we are going back here, then uh, you can uh, go back to uh, your projects, for example. Again, select just uh, the build you have triggered. Here in the test results section, you can then see all the test cases and the individual test results as part of your build process. So some of them have failed, some of them have passed. And as always, you can then dive deeper into the logs of all the automated test cases here on Jenkins. So why should you do all that? Why should you integrate a certain test set into your CI CD pipeline? Well, I want to highlight here two important facts. First of all, you might want to do that because you want to run your yeah, set of automated test cases every time you, for example, commit a change to your code repository where you manage your robotic process automation so that you can yeah, continuously monitor the quality of your robotic process automation. 
And secondly, and I would say most probably more importantly, you can also make your test set accessible to other teams in your organization, to, for example, software development teams or teams in IT operations. Now, why would you do that? Well, for a simple reason. These teams, they make changes to software applications and they make changes to IT environments. IT environment changes such as browser updates, security patches, or the IT ops might also upgrade your operating system. And whenever they do that, whenever they make these changes to their software applications or to their IT environments, then all these changes might break your bots in production. So what we also do internally here at UiPath is we make our test set available for these teams so that these teams can integrate our automated test cases into their build pipeline so that we as RPA teams know whenever they make any changes to their software applications or to their IT environments, then we know whether these changes might break our bots in production. And the reason why we want to do this is again, very simple. We want to increase the uptime of our bots at any time. And that's all I have for now. In the next video, we will briefly explore how you can properly manage not only your entire test case portfolio for all your automated business processes on Test Manager, I will also show you how you can continuously report the quality of your robotic process automations.